Hmm. Where is this thing? Got it. Let's talk about the Sigma Art 24 to 70 2.8 standard zoom lens. Yeah. Hey everyone, this is Desmond. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I make videos for creative dads and parents that want to take better photos and shoot better video. So if you're interested in photo and video tech gear reviews, how to's or tutorials, and just how I navigate, taking photos and shooting video as a parent, definitely hit the like button and subscribe for more. And today we're here to talk about this, the Sigma Art 24 to 70 2.8 standard zoom lens and why I think this is a must have one and done lens for any creative dads that wanna take better photos and shoot better video. Okay, let's get right into it. And to be honest, if I could only bring one lens with me everywhere, it would be this, a 24 to 70 millimeter standard zoom lens. And again, for a couple reasons. One, because of how versatile this range of focal lengths is. And two, because of how fast it allows me to shoot, get the composition I need and get the shot I want. Um, I've mentioned this before in some of my other videos. When I became a parent, my shooting style really changed, right? So I don't really have the time to fumble around with my prime lenses. I don't have time to switch between the right lens and the focal length for the right shot uh, with moving kids, it's tough. So for us, catching that moment really requires us to be able to shoot quickly and get the composition we need. And a 24 to 70 standard zoom lens is really the right tool for that job. So before we jump too much into how I use a 24 to 70, I wanna talk about this lens in particular, the build quality and some of the features that it brings. So this is part of Sigma's art series, their high-end professional grade series of lenses. This one is built specifically for the Sony E-mount. And honestly, the build quality is incredible. It's kind of what you would expect from an art series lens. You've got construction made out of metal and some high quality plastics, but it feels very premium, very hefty. This is 830 grams, so it's not a light lens. And if, as you can see, it's pretty big. Um, Compared to say a Sony 24 to 70 G Master, I think that one is 860 grams. So the G Master is actually heavier and larger than this lens, which is actually one of the reasons why I got this as well. You can check out some other reviews from different YouTubers that'll talk about the technical differences between the Sigma Art and the Sony G Master. Um, you'll be able to learn kind of what the sharpness differences are, the quality of the photos that come out. Everything that I saw said that the art performed very, very close to the G Master and the price difference made this a better value for me. So a couple other things to notice on this. We've got an autofocus and manual focus toggle switch. We also have a custom button that you can set to auto eye focus, whatever you'd like, whatever fits your workflow. A couple things that you would expect from a premium lens like this. One other thing to look at is this thing has a zoom lock toggle switch. So when you're walking about and you're hanging your lens on a capture clip or you know just holding it in your hand, the lens will not extend uh, due to gravity, which is great and helpful. It's not a very powerful lens. If I apply just enough pressure, I can unclick it, which is also helpful. So if it's in its lock position and you decide you want to just twist, you apply just enough pressure and you can unlock. A couple of other things to talk about, the rubberized manual focus wheel, focus ring is great, it's smooth, and then also the zoom ring. So I think there's just enough feedback here. I actually really like it, so it doesn't feel like you're just, you know, twisting this loose zoom ring. There is enough feedback um, for it to be pleasant to use and not to feel flimsy. And then the Sigma Art lens also comes with a pretty substantial lens hood, which I can't find, but I actually don't carry it on me very often. Uh, like I said, this is already a pretty large lens with the lens hood on. It makes it pretty substantial in size. 
I like to carry this with my Sony a7R 4 in a Peak Design 3 liter sling. So that camera body and this lens combo fit perfectly in there. And that is usually my one and done body and lens combo. And it'll allow me to shoot basically anything in any particular situation. And the images look incredible. So the constant maximum aperture on this is f2.8, which is great. And kind of what sets it apart from some of the other cheaper zoom lenses, which may have variable uh, maximum apertures. So what that means is at 24 millimeters, your maximum aperture is f2.8. At 35, at 50, 54, 60, 70, your max aperture is at f2.8, which gives you really great image quality really good low light performance and at the telephoto ranges you're going to get great black brown blur and good compression in the photographs and videos that you take so now that we've talked about the lens itself let's talk about how i use a 24 to 70 and why i think every creative dad and parent that's into photo and video should really get a standard zoom lens so like I mentioned before, my shooting style has really changed a ton since I became a dad, right? It's it's really tough finding time and also the, the right opportunity to switch between my prime lenses. So if you're shooting with like a telephoto prime lens, like an 85 or like a 135, I actually don't like to stand that far away from my kids when I'm shooting them in public or when I'm getting photos and videos of the family. With a zoom lens, especially with a standard zoom, like a 24 to 70, it gives me the focal lengths that I like to use most. So at the 24 millimeter length, I really like this focal length because one, it's great for landscapes. It's great for wide angle photos. It's great for photos and videos where you wanna capture your subject, but also the, the where and when, the story of the moment you're trying to capture. And on the other end, the 70 millimeter, you're kind of inching into the telephoto realm, right? With that, you get a ton of compression, which is great for portraits where you want to really blur out backgrounds. I use that a lot when I'm in public or when we're shooting in places with kind of ugly backgrounds or things that don't matter to the photo I'm trying to take. So if I'm trying to get a really tight shot of one of my kids or grab a portrait or grab like an outfit shot or Halloween costumes like that, where I don't really want the background distracting away from the subject, I can use the telephoto focal length and really get great compression, great background blur, and really isolate the subject. And then you've got all the focal lengths in between. So if you're a fan of the 35 millimeter focal length, you've got access to that. So you can shoot, again, great street photography, great for environmental portraits, where you've got a little bit more subject isolation, but you can still capture the story without being too wide as a 24. And then you've got the 50 millimeter focal length and kind of all the other things in between. I'm a big fan of the 50 millimeter focal length because it gives me that telephoto look, gives me really good background separation, isolates the subject, but it does allow a little bit of the background in. It does allow me to capture a little bit more and I don't have to step as far back. And as a dad, that versatility is really important to me because I can just take my camera out of my bag, dial in the right settings, get the right composition and the focal length and capture the moment. And the nice thing about this is you can capture the same moment with a variety of different focal lengths and that will give you completely different photos. And, and that kind of versatility is incredibly valuable, especially if I just wanna grab one lens with my camera body. The other thing that's important as a dad that loves photo and video is, is kind of speed, right? I've mentioned this before, kids are fast. Capturing those moments really takes a lot of speed to be able to just take out your camera, get the shot and be done with it. Because kids, you know, they don't really stay still very long. They're just kids. So with the 24 to 70, that's what it gives me is speed because I don't have to switch between my prime lenses, losing out on capturing the right moment. All the focal lengths that I could want are already there for me. And the last and I guess most important reason why I always recommend a 24 to 70 for any creative parents that are looking to get into photo and video is, is the ease of use. Again, like I mentioned, all the focal lengths you could really need for family photo and video are here in one place. 
And for me, that makes the shooting experience much more enjoyable, right? It's enjoyable for me. It makes taking photos and shooting videos really fun because it's convenient and it's easy. And I don't have to overthink how to get the shot, what lens to use, when to use it. Um, and the other thing that actually makes the experience a lot more enjoyable for your family and your subject. Usually it's my wife and my kids that I'm taking photos and shooting video of. And if dad is like frustrated because he's trying to switch between the 50 and the 85 and trying to get the kids to stay still and make sure everyone's smiling while you get the right settings and the right lens, it's kind of a crappy experience for everyone and your kids and family are going to hate taking photos. They're going to hate photo time because it becomes a chore. Right, they have to wait, they have to get ready, and then dad has to figure all these things out. With the zoom lens, I love how enjoyable and seamless the shooting experience is. A lot of the times the kids don't even notice I'm taking photos because I can just take it out, dial it in, get the shot I need, and I don't need to give them a lot of direction. They don't have to wait. Um, so that's kind of why I think it's important. I mean, isn't that what we all want? An enjoyable photo and video experience. Shooting should be fun. Taking pictures and capturing moments with your family should be fun and it should bring you happiness. And that's why I always recommend something like this. As a parent, ease of use, speed and versatility is kind of the name of the game. All right, and that is it for this video. Again, I wanna thank all my subscribers uh, and my viewers who have liked my videos. I appreciate the support. I buy all of this equipment by myself with my own money. This is a passion that I have really invested in and I love sharing this content with you. So if you like the content, definitely hit the like button, subscribe for more videos just like this. And if you've got ideas on the different types of videos you wanna see, leave it in the comments. All right, everyone, thank you for watching. Until next time.